This is Spanish Village down at Balboa Park, in Balboa Park, San Diego, California. And this is a collection of artist studios. They're all individually rented, subsidized by the city, so the rent is pretty cheap. He's been here for a lot of years, I think since the 1920s. And they've been used for various things, actually. But this is Studio 29, which is the San Diego Potter's Guild. And there's our red door. We'll walk in here, check it out, look around, see some of the pots. This is a collection, the Artist Guild is a collection of about 40 artists, a, few, a little over 40 artists, uh, potters, and uh, we share the duties. That is, we come in about once a month or so, each person, and does a duty at the Potter's Guild. There's something that someone did. I'm not even sure who did this particular piece, but it's wood fired. I think that's Lisa Maher, yeah. She did a, a workshop somewhere and the wood fired piece. And this is our back wall. One of my wife's bowls. A really nice piece by Joan Thorburn. Another one of Mary's bowls. You can see I'm emphasizing Mary's work. <laughs> this is the center section over here, and it's a collection of, of uh, tables that is used by one person each month. Sometimes it's shared, and um, they can put their name up there. Right now, everybody's work is in here, but normally one person will have this and they'll kind of be promoted as a featured artist. It's a garden piece by David Farron. It's one of Ed Thompson's piece pieces. And this is a back section. So you can see there's a lot of different styles and diversity of people that, that show here. This is a piece by Didi Kopage. It's a nice piece there by Sean Craig. Brushwork on that. And there's a, a ni real nice uh, piece. Oh, the lighting is going to be bad, but by Ed Thompson. Let me walk around here real quick. And I think, well, I haven't put the video up yet, but he, he showed it at our show. In fact, he had this piece there. It's a really beautiful piece. He pounds those spirals in using a, um, a doorknob, actually, an old porcelain kind of rounded doorknob. And now, this is our sales counter. And you can see the various this is the work area. Uh, there's a real old creative industry wheels there, wheel there. And then we have others, a very old Brent, more Brents. It looks like they're all fairly old. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five wheels. Hold on a second. Here's some more. There's some pots that I did yesterday and I trimmed them today. Usually I try to do uh, two duties in a row. That way I only do it every other month. There's some more pieces and lots of windows here. So it gives it a lot of light. We've talked about making this section into more showroom space, but we haven't done it yet. Uh, electric kiln, more work area back there where people will glaze and walk through this doorway. And you can see some more glazed work. More back in here, kind of a dungeon back here, it seems like. And then here we have a good size gas kiln. Oh, they locked it up. Shoot, 
I'm going to show you. Well, you can peek inside. You can see it's being loaded. But it's uh, 24 cubic, cubic feet of uh, stacking space. It's uh, called a West Coast kiln. It's not a huge kiln, but it's a nice size. And so that's it. That's the overview of the San Diego Potter's Guild. If you're down in Spanish Village on Balboa Park, stop by Studio 29 and check it out. It's a nice place to visit. See you later. Bye.